right, welcome to the broadcast. That was a shot by number 17, Tate Pottle. First shot of the game by the Lusher Lions. All right, we'll announce the starting lineups for Lusher real quick. We have uh, the goalkeeper, Jordan Shoemaker. We got number two, John Andrews. Number three, James Rose. Number four, Russell Brown. Number nine, Evan Welsh. Number 13, Alden Crick. No, Aiden Crick, sorry. Number 16, Noah Glasgow. Glasgow. Schumacher's uh, goalkeeper's pronunciation. Sorry about that. Uh, number 17, Tate Pottle. Number 19, Alexander Blanche. Number 21, Jack Hagen. And number 26, Elijah Oten Rashad. So we have Lusher here set up for a free kick about 42 yards out. Collected by the keeper. Now the starting lineup for Turlings Catholic out of Lafayette, Louisiana. We have number zero, Matthew Fenn. We have number two, Lane Gonzalez. Number four, Jackson Andre Ponce. Number eight, Landon Boudreau. Number nine, Luke Anescu. Number 10, Dylan Crador. Number 12, Cole Henson. Number 19, Mason Wild. Number 29, Logan Legendry. Ooh. A lot of trouble there in the box. Almost deflected in the own goal there. Then we have number 31, Aiden Landry, and number 38, William Kramer. That is the starting lineup for Turlings. Another shot by Lusher, that's by number 19, Alexander Blanche. lot going on right there touched by nobody a couple of notes for the game we have lusher charter who's the number two seed in division three they're coming off a 17 one and three season they are the district six champions uh, they had a bye in the first round Keep working, Russell. turlings catholic is the 15 seed out of lafayette they uh, they did not get a bye in the first round they beat number 17 cecilia 6-0 at home Cross into the box, back post, missed. A lot of pressure by Lusher early. 
few more notes about Terralines. They started the season with six losses. All those losses were against top teams, a lot of D1 schools. Uh, but of late, after a, they finished the regular season 12, 11, and 1. They finished the regular season. They finished the regular season 12, 11, and 1. They're, since January 1st, though, they are actually 7, 3, and 1. Finished strong in the season, and they are the District 4 champions in Division 3. through ball Ooh, center called it offsides nothing from the assistant we have the offsides a couple a little playoff history here 2018 for these teams Turlings uh, lost in the quarters to Vanderbilt who was the eventual champions in 2018 Lusher did not make the playoffs 2019, both teams lost to the same team, the eventual, eventual champion, University High, out of Baton Rouge. That was Lusher losing in the quarters, 2-0, and Turlings losing in the semis, 4-0. Last year, Turlings lost in the second round to Parkview Baptist, and last year, Lusher lost in the semifinals to the University Lab, 3-1. Championship history for both these teams. Lusher has one championship appearance. That is in 2014 where they won. And Terralines has four championship appearances. And that was in four consecutive years. 06, 07, 08, and 09 where they won both of the last years. 08 and 09. Foul on Lusher. A lot of pressure by Lusher early. Turlings just trying to put something together. Coaches for tonight's game, you got the coach for Turling, Stephen Devine, and the coach for Lusher, Ben Barcelona. Ball out for a throw for Lusher. The winner of this game will face the winner of Vanderbilt Catholic and St. Louis. If Lusher wins, they will host Vanderbilt or travel to St. Louis. And if Turlings wins, they would host Vanderbilt and travel to St. Louis. Same combination for both teams. Oh, that's a goal. That's a goal for Lusher. It's scored by number 19, Alexander Blanche. That's a senior. And it's 1-0 Lusher. We are 11 minutes into this game. Two, 
one nothing, two nothing. Little playoff update elsewhere. St. Amon is currently up 2-1 to one on Brother Martin. They got out to a 2-0 lead. They're now currently up 2-1. to one. Goal Lusher. Lusher now has a 2-0 lead. That's a goal by number nine, Junior Evan Welsh. 2-0 Lusher, and we are 12 minutes in. One minute later. Terrell needs to get it together soon or it's going to be a rough night. That's great defense by Terrellines. That was number 38, William Kramer on defense there to prevent another goal by Lusher. That had been number nine again. out of bounds that's over the end line there we're gonna have a goal kick for Terrellin. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky it's my first time with this tripod first time filming in this fashion so hopefully the camera work can be done pretty well tonight. Good stick Russell! Goal kick Terrellin's. Probably gonna get a long lusher throw here. Typically you see this at their school. Long throw, keeper comes out, good punch out by keeper. And Terlene's with the clear. Thanks for the comment, John. Yeah, we, we added this overlay just to make it easier to follow the time and the score instead of me just giving you minute by minute updates. It's uh, hopefully it's working out on y'all's end to see it nice and easy.
Thanks for tuning in to Gall Star Soccer Broadcast. Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint if you were expecting Gall Star. This is not Gall Star. I'm just a lonely intern. <laughs> this is Juarez, if you pay attention to LA Prep. And helping me with the stats is Mrs. Juarez coming out to catch our first soccer game of the season. And a, sh a shot by number four, Russell Brown for Lusher. We are currently here at Pan American Stadium. Limited crowd, about 200 paid attendance. We're allowed in today. We were split on both sides of the field, visiting side across from the home side. Not too often you see players sitting on opposite sides of the field. Oh, we have a, that's gonna be a goal kick. That was number 19, Alexander Blanche. Got away from him there. But yeah, we have crowds on both sides. We have. Lusher is going to be on the home side with their team. We also have the traveling fans of Turlings Catholic. Ooh, this is going to be rough. Shot wide by number nine, Evan Walsh. Shot on goal by number four, Russell Brown. Lusher. So far, Turling's Catholic goalkeeper, Matthew Fenn, doing a good job keeping as much as he can out. There's a lot of pressure right now. Turling's can get a little bit of an attack going. Trying to pick up formations here. It looks like Terrellines has two up top. It looks like a 4-4-2, but it looks like somebody is in the central. One of the midfielders might be dropping back. It might be more of a 4-1-3-2. Lusher playing a diamond in the back, four flat across the center. Diamond's working really well for Lusher. Anything that comes into that center defense is really getting gobbled up. There. Good defense, that's number 19, Mason Wild for Turling. Good individual effort. Twenty-two minutes into this game, currently no subs for either team. Lusher still with a two-nothing lead.
crossed in, missed by the forward there. And Terrellin's on the counter. They can get. Uh, it's going to be collected by the keeper there. Nothing in the midfield, just tough for Terrellin's right now. They're not really getting anything through the midfield. something brewing. That's going to be cleared by Rusher. Possibly offsides there, a little cross. That's a shot wide. Can't get a number kind of far away. Possibly number three, James Rose on the shot there for Lusher, just wide. Slightly miss hit. Oh, nice ball in. Oh, strong shot by number 19. Alexander Blanche and it's out of the stadium. Free soccer ball for anybody that wants to dive into the bushes. Got some subs lined up for Lusher about to come in. Looks like maybe two subs. It's gonna be a foul. It's gonna be a foul on Terrellines. Not sure of the number there. Two shots in a row, two saves in a row. Great work by Charlene's goalkeeper there. It's two shots on goal and two saves in a row. Oops, sorry about that. Back to back shots and saves. I didn't get a number on the opted side of the shot, both on goal. Second one point blank range. Got two subs coming in for Lusher. Not sure if numbers, can't really see. I don't think they have numbers on the front of their jerseys. We got a Ford and we also have, we got number 11, Alex Lupin coming in up top and somewhere in the midfield, it looks like the top of the diamond on defense is number 10, Tenchi Odin Rashad is now playing center. It's playing in the center of the defense, but on the top of that diamond. All right. Oh, we got another sub quickly. 
That's number nine leaving the field, Evan Welsh, and coming in to take a spot in the midfield. It's going to be tough to get a number single digit. Right now we got a throw in coming from Aiden Crick, and this is one of those lusher long throws into the box. Let's see what Terlins can do to defend it. The keeper gets a touch. Is eventually cleared to our new sub, which is number six, Mason Ogan. That's our new sub that just came into the game, playing on the left side. Oh, a little bit of a misplay there. Keeper's kind of out of position, but he's going to come up and collect. Terrellings here. Terrellings is going to have to put together something on some set pieces. Uh, not getting any real chances from the run of play. We've got a long throw in coming here. A lot of stretching by our throw, our throw in guy. Oh, two lusher players collide, and that's going to be a corner. It's going to be a corner for Terrellings. Got number nine and number ten over there getting ready. Sorry, the camera's a little tilted. Let's see if that's a little better. Got nine and ten over there for Turlings, which is Luke Inescu and Dylan Crador. Eventually going to be taken by Crador. Short. Crossed in, flicked, and it's going to be cleared by Lusher. Long clear. Goalie's probably going to play this. Keeper's got it. Oh, it's in a weird spot. Collected by the keeper eventually. Tough touch there, make it hard for the defender. Lush are just suffocating everybody right now. Ooh, that was Collected by the keeper. Matthew Fenn, he's been busy all night, doing a good job, couple goals. Scored on him thus far. Turlings. throw coming in center back coming in for the long throw that's number number 11 number 11 Alex Lupin oh nice cross nice cross there by number 17 Tate Cottle Pass. Great defense by the sub there. That's number 10, Odin Rashad. Oh, misplayed. One timer, and that's a goal. What a goal. That's number 11, of number 11, Alex Lupin. That's, a, that's what you call a super sub right there. Coming off the bench to score a goal. And that's 3 nothing, Lusher. 
great attack by Terra Lanes. That's that was cut off by Odin Rashad. Counter attack misplayed by Terra Lanes defender. Finished one time by Lupin. Early sub in the first half. Foul for Lusher. Taken long here by number nine, Luke Inescu. Up, oh, taken short actually. Now sent in, blocked. Uh, here we go. Tough free kick to take short there for Carolines. Probably should have just played it long, take their chances. Seven minutes plus added time left in the first half. Lusher, a lot of control there, especially in the midfield. Carolines has some players up top that could do some work. It's just getting in the ball. A lot of good touches by number 10, Dylan Crador. If they could just get him the ball, might have a chance. Long throw coming here from number 13, Aiden Crick. Oh, Lupin going for the one-time shot again, and it's wide. Goal kick taken short. Oh, cut off. Cleared out by Terling's back line. Good touch there. 17 for Lusher. He'll take a shot if he has a chance. Absolutely. And that's a goal. Number 17 for Lusher. That's Tate Pottle. He usually, if he has the ball inside 25 yards, he's usually going to shoot it. And he had a good chance there. And that's going to be 4 to nothing Lusher. With just about five minutes to play in the first half. Score update out of St. Amant, Brother Martin 2, St. Amant 2. Sub coming in for Lusher, if I can get a number. There goes our sub right there, that's number 9, Evan Welsh entering back into the game. Cross coming in by Lupin. Headed away. And it's going to be a throw. And here comes probably number 13 again. Crick probably coming in for the long throw in. Like I said, back at Lusher, this is typically what they do whenever they're within 35 yards of the goal. You'll get a long throw in from Lusher. Look for Turling's Fen to come out hard. He, he's been pretty aggressive. Here he comes again gets the punch to it. Good job by the goalkeeper there. Defended up. That was a counterattack by number two, Lane Gonzalez for Turlings. If they can get the ball to number two or number 10 for Turlings, they'll have a chance. It's just getting into the getting the ball up there. on it. It's going to be 
a foul. Tarling's taken quickly. Oh, it's just not, not from the spot, though. Gonna have to reset. About three and a half minutes left in the first half. Four nothing Lusher. Free kick gonna be taken by the goalkeeper for Lusher, who we haven't heard. That's Jordan Shoemaker. Oh, long for that's two hops there. That's the keeper, Jordan Schumacher. Getting a little action here in the first half. under two minutes left in the first half. I don't know if my timer's a little off. The scoreboard says two, my timer says less. Yeah. It's gonna be a header wide by number 10, Dylan Crador for Turlings. Good little attack put together there. A couple passes, just a header wide. That's a rough foul there. Take a long kick here by long free kick by number 17, Tate Pottle. One goal currently in the game by him. Let's get him in frame. Sorry about that. A little cross in, headed away. Headed back in. Probably a couple people coming from offside, but safely there. Oh, nice cross. That's going to be out for a corner. Yes, that's a corner for Lusher. See if we can get a little zoomed in here. As far as it's gonna go today. It's gonna be Ag Alexander Blanche on the corner here. Five Lusher attackers lined up to possibly do something. Seven defenders in there for Turling. Oh, collected. Oh, that's gonna be a foul. Finn with the save. Uh, and eventually he got he got clipped on the way through by somebody. I don't want to see that. We're into extra time. This might be it. Might might. And that's it. So we're currently uh, at halftime here. Lusher and Turlings. First half stats. Brought to you by, by Galstar. That would be fouls. We have three for Lusher, four for Turlings. Shots, we have nine for Lusher, seven of which are on goal. One shot for Turling, that's zero on goal. And corners are one to one. Uh, we have four goals, one in the 11th minute. We have a 12th minute goal by Lusher, a 32nd minute, and a 35th minute goal by Lusher. It's four nothing at halftime. We'll be back in about 10 minutes for the second half. Stay tuned. <laughs> 